Hello everyone, this is the Sinrace 20 version 1.2. So Flywoo likes to do little updates, and uh, if you didn't see the original video, if you're looking for the full review, all the glory details, uh, I'll put that down in the video description. Uh, but they've done a couple things. I think the most important thing that they've done is they figured out the issue where an arm would drop. So if you flew this and you flew it kind of fast and you kind of hard turned and maybe you didn't coordinate it perfectly, uh, it would tend to drop an arm like that. So they went about uh, going ahead and fixing that. And I think in my review video, I talked about being able to fix that via either reversing the props or uh, something with the pit tune. And it turns out, uh, just reversing the props. So as you can see, I've already done that to mine. And so let's take a look at how it flies with reversed props. I did some testing with uh, dives and also just various sort of cornering. You know, it's called the Sin Race. So I think by name, it should be going a little bit faster and being able to corner a little bit more than a traditional sort of uh, form factor here with the prop protection. I, I will say that... Well, one question that I get a lot about this is flying bigger batteries. So the 450 4S is recommended. If you pump up to like, say a 650, it's gonna fly a lot differently and it's not probably going to handle that weight very well. You've only got two inches of prop and throwing on more battery weight does not uh, help. So, you know, staying with a 450, if you can find a 550 that's about the same weight, that's good. But, you know, you get up to a 650 or you want to even go larger, you're going to want to be doing slower for a flight. And that might be fine, but doing fast uh, turns. Uh, something else that it's got is uh, I've added the neon kit, which you can actually buy it with the neon kit. And it comes in a host of different colors uh, so you can mix and match. And it adds a little flavor to the sin race. You uh, might be in a situation where you have some flying friends and somebody is going to chase you and they're going to have an HD camera so you get to see your quad being chased. Maybe you have a parking garage that's relatively dark or even inside of a large basement or gym with the lights on, lights off, excuse me. So all sorts of possibilities. Now mine, as far as the LED kit, there's supposed to be a piece that's supposed to hold this. Now either I misplaced it or my kit just didn't have that piece. And you know, it wasn't a deal breaker. So I just put it over here. I mean, the biggest deal about this is that I don't really have easy access to the switch to turn the lights on or off. Uh, so th th that's kind of the downside of not having that piece. But let's go back to the fixing of the arm dropping or we might also call that washout. So essentially what we're gonna need to do is first take off your props. I'm not gonna do that because I'm just gonna video through this, but take your props off. It's not safe to do this stuff when you're messing with the ESCs with your props in. Uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna plug in our USB cable and I'm going to then get a battery out and we're going to plug it in. Well, we'll plug it in second. All right, got my USB cable. Let's go up to the desk. Now I'm using BlueJ, you can use BL Heli, you can use esc-configurator.com, you can use whatever you want to change the direction. We're not flashing firmware, we're just going to be writing firmware. Uh, so I don't have my battery plugged in yet, but I can go ahead and click connect and everything comes up here. Now I need to uh, go ahead and plug in a battery to activate the ESCs. And now I can read setup. And we've got our ESCs. Now in my particular case, you won't necessarily want to match this, especially if you're not doing it to exactly this quad. But over here where we ha have ESC one, two, and three, let me uh, sh make this window a little bit better to view. So we got one, two, three, and four. And all you want to do is change it. So if it says normal, change it to reversed. If it says reversed, Change it to normal. So you just click one, change it to something else. I'm not going to write this. Click one, change it to something else. Click one, change it to something else. You just go through that. You don't match them. You just change whatever it is. And then you click right setup. Not flash all, right setup. You can do this with any of the ESC applications. You do not have to uh, have that firmware on there. Of course, to get the firmware features, you do have to have the firmware on these. So that's uh, one step. So let's connect up to Betaflight. This is another step that we need to take. We'll go into the configuration page. And right here, the mixer, uh, where we have our motors, notice how the arrows are pointing this way. That's because I've changed mine. If yours is not set up this way already, uh, you need to change that by sliding this slider over. Uh, so we call this running props out. And if these arrows were to look the other way like this, that's called running props in. Uh, so you just change this, click save and reboot. And one final step. And the last step is you have to change your props. So the high side of the prop should lead into the rotation. 
So hopefully it's, yeah, I know it's going to be kind of difficult, but hopefully you can tell. You don't put the props on upside down. The props only go one way. They go right side up. So you still, because they only create thrust one way. Uh, so then you need to uh, make sure it's rotating to where the leading edge is going to be rotating first. And the same back here, and the same over here on this rear motor and on this front motor. So you need to match essentially what mine is or just, you know, if you already have done this stuff, you know, you're probably old hat at it and it's easy peasy. Something else that I noticed about their website, if you look here, they've really kind of done an a la carte sort of purchasing. So if you were to be interested in one of the quads on their website, um, you can go down and, and select different options. Maybe you want to go Express LRS or maybe you want an FR Sky XM Plus. No, don't do it. Um, well, I wouldn't do R9 either because you're just going to flash Express LRS, right? So I would say Crossfire, Express LRS, or you uh, buy it without a receiver. Oh, this little annoying thing. And then we have different options. Like if you're getting into FPV and you need a monitor, or you need a charger, maybe a Caddx Peanut. Yeah, all these things flash up here. Uh, so they've got all sorts of different options. And I hadn't noticed that previously, but I don't know how that new is. How new that is, excuse me. Uh, also, they have the different duct colors. So you can select that if you haven't bought one already. I would love to. I, I like the gray. Um, it's kind of, you know, they don't have blue, so I go with gray. Uh, and then match that with the blue neon. These are all the different colors that they have. So I really thought that was pretty interesting uh, on their website, how they kind of broke these things out. It's a good way to sell people more product real easily, I guess. But uh, so that was that was something else I wanted to draw your attention to was the fact that uh, their website has also changed. I don't think you can buy it in these combinations on other websites. You'll find the Sin Race probably on various uh, FPV shop websites, but I don't think you'll find it with these different options. Sorry, I keep moving the mouse around. It's probably driving everybody nuts. Uh, so they also redesigned the camera a little bit, as they mentioned down here, at least the, uh, the upgraded camera bracket, so super durable. A uh, nice thing about what Flywood does with version 1.2 here is they're obviously paying attention to their customers when they come, and they give them information about their experiences and maybe having to make a correction through customer support, and then they're adopting that to the product. So I don't see where you can buy the original version anymore. So this is the version that you're going to be getting from uh, here on out until they make another change. And one last thing that I'll pitch you, uh, Flywoo has been sending me these in every package. I don't know if they do this for everyone. It says gift right on it. It's basically a battery mat. And I'm glad they're sending it to me because this is, uh, well, one, it was free. And I use these battery mats when I make little micros of various sorts. and. It's really impressive how sticky this is. Now, it's a little thick. I wish it was a touch thinner for my, you know, super light micros, but it's super sticky, and I found it to be very effective in uh, keeping batteries on there. Uh, you might be familiar with Umagrip. This isn't, uh, I don't think it's a direct knockoff. I've got my packages of Umagrip over here. So I've got my Umagrip light and my standard. Um, this stuff from Flywoo, Gee, everything is sticking together. I mean, the battery matte material is probably all about the same. It's just whatever they're doing to make it sticky. Um, they're very similar in performance, in my opinion. Um, and I am partial to the uh, light, which, you know, of course, I wish it was blue, not green. But, you know, I still use uh, Tommy's products. I have a bunch of it over here. But uh, Flywoo has been sending me battery mats, and I have used them on a number of builds. So if you're looking for a battery mat and you happen to be on Flywoo's website, maybe picking up a Sinrace or something else, uh, and you do any building or you even just want to replace the standard mat that comes on your quad, this stuff's good stuff. I think, uh, I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll approve of it. So if you're interested in the Sinrace or a different Flywoo product, I will put links down in the video description where you can find this particular quad. Of course, if you don't want to click those links, just type in flywoo.net or your favorite FPV shop's website and uh, do your Google Foo, your search Foo on there. And uh, you should also, in your YouTube search box, type Infinity Loops with an S, not a Z, and subscribe to that channel because I think there's going to be a fun video coming up relatively shortly. All right, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or otherwise, please let me know in the comments section below. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.